Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video um, we have a little bit of a rare laptop. This one is a laptop, it's called Borago Alpha N3060. These are really rare laptops because they are low grade laptops. These are the brand, it says Borago, the model Alpha N3060. The N3060 stands for the CPU model. So they just grabbed the CPU model, slammed it right on the brand model on here. And this, I made a video how to upgrade the mechanical drive to a solid state drive and uh, upgrade the RAM and everything else in here to the maintenance. You can find those links in my video description or in my channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows 10 on a new hard drive in here, how to boot it up from the U Windows 10 USB boot drive. I made a specific video that I'm not going to go over on this video that you can check that video is specifically made on how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. So once you watch that video and you have created your Windows 10 media boot drive on a USB, you can follow this video to install it on your system and the proper way of installing it. If you have upgraded the hard drive, so this is the way you want to do it. So let's keep this video short and let's get it started. First thing first, you want to connect the USB drive into a USB port 2. You don't want to connect it to a USB 3. Connect it to a USB 2 port. And this one has a little messed up charger. The client brought it like this. You want to power it on and you want to tap on F2. Keep tapping F2 until you get to the BIOS menu. Sometimes it takes a while before you get in until you get to the BIOS. Okay, this screen is really wobbly. So I think the refresh rate on this one is so bad that you can actually see it on the camera. So once you're inside the bio, BIOS, the, you see this flicker because I don't actually see it on my, with my eye. The camera is picking up the refresh rate because it's so bad on this uh, LCD. So I'm going to just try to bear with me, see if I can get you. So you want to use your arrow key. You want to go down to advanced boot and you go to save and exit. And you want to go down. It says boot overwrite. You want to choose your USB from the boot overwrite. I'm going to turn off the light. Maybe it helps out a little bit. So we're going to choose the boot overwrite and we're going to press enter. So it's going to boot through the USB right now. So it's going to restart and it's going to go through the. So when your panel is really garbage panel, this is what happens in the camera. You can, it tracks the refresh rate. So once you get to the menu here, you're going to choose Windows, English, whatever language you want, and you click next. You want to click install. And from here, you're going to wait a bit. And from here, you want to click, I don't have a product key, or if you have a product key, put your product key in there. I'm just going to click, I don't have a product key. And from here, we're going to choose Windows 10. And click next. You probably won't even have this one with a new image. Click next. Here you want to uh, the terms and license term. Click accept. Obviously, read the licensing terms. Just go through it. And click next. In here is very important. You want to click on the custom install not an upgrade so you click on a custom and you're going to see one drive if you have boot a brand new drive you're going to see disk drive zero but if your drive has an operating system it's going to have few of them in here I'm just going to create one so you guys can see it so if you're coming from the already having a windows in there you want to just format it you're going to have few partitions but drive zero so you want to go ahead and delete every partitions in here until one all become one partition just click delete on every one of them go on this one click delete and it's just going to add up and it's going to be one big partition and once you have that one just click next and just let it run it's going to do a few restart and after when it's finished it's going to take you to a welcome screen to choose your name and password and everything like that it is very very important when you installing windows do not connect to a wi-fi and you want to skip the Wi-Fi options as you don't have any Wi-Fi just click and do not connect the cable for the internet because once we get to the desktop there's a few bloatwares in there 
they are sitting there waiting for them to be installed as soon as you get an internet connection. So we're gonna remove those before we connect to internet doing any update. So I'm just gonna have this one let go through. Once I get to the welcome screen, I'll let you guys know. So now it's doing its first restart. So we're just gonna let us go back to the menu. And it's gonna do a one, it's, it's gonna say getting stuff ready and it's gonna do a second restart and it should get to the welcome menu. All right, now we are almost there. Just a moment, it says. It's very annoying, this flickering on a camera, but I can't do anything about it. In a real life, I don't see that with my naked eye. So now we're gonna choose your region, click next. And after that, you're gonna choose name. Or your keyboard style next. You wanna add an additional keyboard. Escape. Now it's gonna say connect to a network connection. Just click, I don't have a network connection on the corner. Continue with a limited uh, setup. That's very, these are very important. And give the name. For the password, leave it blank or put a password if you wish. On the next, you're gonna remove all the checks that you're gonna see here. Like I remove everything, so you don't want them to. Some people are fanatic about people don't want them to get it smart. You get your information to the public, so just remove them. It's gonna actually make your computer a little faster by removing advertisement ID, this and that. Click accept. And just Cortana, click not now. And now you should go to the desktop. Once you're in the desktop, the first thing you want to do, you want to go to the start menu. Before you connect to the internet and doing any update. All right, once you're inside the desktop, you want to go quickly to the start menu. And this is what you want to remove all these arrow keys here that you have. You want to remove all of them by right clicking on them and click unpin from start. You want to do this because one of them are Candy Crush, McAfee Antivirus because inside here there's like a five more of them. Just the whole thing, just unpin it. And that way once you connect to the internet, they're not going to start downloading. So that's very important. Just unpin all this. And once you finish unpinning, then that's it. Pretty much you can go to the... Uh, Windows update, you can by going connecting to your internet, Wi Fi internet, and then you want to go to Windows update and just look for an update. And it might take about half an hour to do all the update, let it just sit there and updating and restart, come back and do recheck the update until you get a really green check mark right there. And that should be all. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to install your Windows 10 on your laptop. If it did, please click the like button. If you have any question or request, please feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them. And again, I'm sorry about this flickering, but there's nothing I can do here. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.